Are you pregnant and you've been told to take folic acid? Have you been a little confused when you go to the store and you're not really sure which type to buy or how much to take? Are you confused as to what to eat that may or may not have some type of folate in it? Are you confused about the terms folate and folic acid? Join the club. There's a lot of information to learn about folate and folic acid, so let's dive into it now. Welcome to the Dr. Lexi Show, where I break down pregnancy topics as simply as I can so that you can advocate for yourself and your pregnancy. I'm Dr. Lexi, a board-certified OBGYN and maternal fetal medicine specialist, which just means a high-risk pregnancy doctor, and today we're talking about folate and folic acid. Before we get started today, there are a couple of links that I want to point out to you. Some of the information that we're going through today is coming from an excellent document about the last 30 years of folate and folic acid to kind of help understand the confusion behind it. There's also some information from the NIH, the National Institute of Health, that is working on describing foods that do have folate and foods that are fortified with folic acid. So that's another link there. And also you'll find a nice download that you can go through during this video if you'd like. So if you wanna pause and download that so that you can follow it, we'll also be showing some of it during the video. But that's a free download you can get, so feel free to do that anytime during the video. All right, so as you know, I like to first dive into expanding your knowledge on whatever topic we're on. And today, since we are looking at folate and folic acid, the first thing I want to go into is what is the definition of folate and folic acid? So folate is going to be something that is naturally found in food. So if you eat a vegetable or a bean or a lentil or a legume or a peanut that has folate in it, it's naturally occurring in that food. So folate is when you eat a food that naturally has folate in it, okay? The thing that gets me though is that you really are gonna be hard set to find a label on anything like that, right, that has the amount. So that link I mentioned earlier, you can go to different websites that will tell you how much folate is in various foods. The next thing we're looking at then is folic acid. And the download that I'm supplying for you guys kind of shows that people use the term folate as a general term. But remember, folate is naturally found in foods. When we look at folic acid, folic acid is fortified within foods. And it's not all foods, and it's not in all countries. Some countries, like Costa Rica, actually fortify their milk with folic acid. For us in the United States, you can find breads, pastas, and various types of rice that are fortified with folic acid. And then we have folic acid as a supplement. And that's a tablet or some form of a pill that you would take to then ingest more folic acid. So now we know the different definitions of folate and folic acid. Now that we know what folate is and folic acid and that folic acid is still recommended to take as a supplement, even though it's fortified in the foods, the question then becomes, what type of folic acid are we meant to take? And you'll probably see in the store or even on TV that there's different types of folic acid and different names for folic acid. The studies that have been done looking on trying to assist with good development of the brain and the spine for babies, those studies have been done on folic acid, just regular folic acid. If you see anything in the stores for various types of fancier names, for folic acid, those types have not specifically been studied. So if you're buying something that's a little bit different, talk to your OB provider and see if they feel like it's warranted. The wonderful study that I mentioned before that's looking at 30 years of folic acid and folate really says to us that they do not see a need to take anything different than just regular folic acid. Now that we know some information about folate and folic acid, let's develop some skills to really understand this topic a little bit better. So the first skill to develop with this is learning what types of foods actually have folate within them. So you can see on your download that you're supplied with if you wanted to download that or you can see it on the screen as well. There are some foods listed here and you can also go to various websites to look at the amount of folate that is naturally found in various foods. You can see that dark green leafy vegetables are gonna be on that list. Lentils, avocado would be on that list, asparagus, items like that. 
The hard thing, though, just to point out, is that those foods, when you eat them at a restaurant or you buy them at the store, they don't have a label on them. So trying to look up websites that are good, reputable sources for nutrition to see how much folate is in various foods can be very helpful. The other key thing to remember is when you cook these foods, you're going to decrease the availability of folate in them. So when you eat them in a raw fashion, you're going to get more of that folate absorption. The next thing to look at is with regard to foods that are fortified with folic acid. We've mentioned a few of those before, and you can see that listed here, that you can have a lot of breads, pastas, rices, and cereals that are fortified with folic acid. And then the next thing is supplements. So again, we mentioned before, folic acid is what you need. No 5-HT, various different types for the general basic recommendation of folic acid for pregnancy. The next question is, how much folic acid do you need? And the general recommendation right now is 400 to 800 micrograms of folic acid. Now, if you're looking at your bottle for a prenatal vitamin, it should tell you how much folic acid is in your prenatal vitamin. Some prenatal vitamins might have enough, some might not. So talk to your provider about your individual prenatal vitamin and if you need to take any additional folic acid as a supplement to then make sure you're getting that minimum of 400 to 800 micrograms of folic acid. The other super important thing is when should you start taking folic acid? It really should be about one to three months prior to wanting to become pregnant because it's helpful in supporting what we call the neural tube development for the baby. That's important for brain and neurologic function. And it's important to start folic acid prior to becoming pregnant. And so if you're desiring to become pregnant or kind of trying or definitely trying, make sure you're getting enough folic acid in a supplementary form because you might not have enough within your diet. It's important to take the folic acid at least through that first trimester. So I typically tell people that you're going to take it all the way up until 14 weeks because that is kind of when your first trimester has ended and the neural tube will be formed by that time. So that's the important time. Starting at one to three months prior to becoming pregnant, continuing it through the third month of your pregnancy basically is kind of a good way to think about it. Now, there can be people who need more folic acid than what's generally recommended. And this is where we kind of step into impact. So I really want individuals to understand to have a great impact on your pregnancy, you need to be able to talk to your OB provider and say, hey, am I one of those people who needs a higher amount of folic acid or do I just take the regular amount? So really important to talk to them about this because various things, including if you had a prior child that may have had some type of an open neural tube defect, that right there would require a much higher dose of folic acid in a future pregnancy. So make sure you talk to your OB provider about that. The biggest impact that we want to have on this pregnancy, on any pregnancy, with regard to folic acid and folate information is knowing how much you should take, when to start it, and having that conversation with your provider as soon as possible. Don't forget, look at the labels, check out your prenatal vitamin, check out the folic acid you're taking, and see if you have any questions on that, take that to your provider's office. Make sure you're getting enough of the folic acid. And as always, we want to have the best outcome we can for you and for your pregnancy. So for folic acid, again, one more quick summary. We now know the foods that have folate in them. We know the foods that are fortified with folic acid. We know that everyone needs to take a folic acid supplement and to talk to your provider to find out exactly the right amount of folic acid for you. Don't forget to get your downloads. Don't forget about the links that are supplied for you as well. And finally, don't forget to leave some comments below about today's video and any other topic you'd like for me to break down. I'm Dr. Lexi, wishing you a happy and healthy pregnancy.